What's up guys, Motor Nostra here. Got another vlog for you during this gorgeous ride out on this Saturday with the AK-47s and B. Russell 512 in front of me. And uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to clutchless ship. So people comment this a lot asking, is it okay to shift without the clutch? So, just shift gears without pulling in your clutch. And if done correctly, it is okay, and it makes it safer and faster. You're not worrying about pulling the clutch in, and you can keep your fingers, all of your fingers on the handlebars. So, to do this, you're going to be doing a normal shift, obviously not pulling in the clutch but adding in something else so when you're about to when you're about to shift you're going to want to preload the shifter and you're just going to lift your foot up just a tad to put some light pressure on the shifter without pu fully pulling up just if you pretend that this is the gear lever you're just going to put right, put your foot touching it and just push a little pressure on it just so you can feel it not feel it push it back on you but don't don't pull up just like a I can't measure it but like a pound or two of pressure or something this is going to preload it so that when you drop the throttle and take the load off the engine it'll be easier for it to shift into the next gear so like I said, same situation as a regular shift, which is a regular shift would be pulling the clutch, let off the throttle, shift up, clutch out with throttle back on. With a clutchless shift, you're going to preload the shifter and then let off the throttle. You have to let off of it plenty enough to take the load off the engine. And when, when you do this, you then shift gears. So you already have the gear lever preloaded. Drop off the throttle, shift up, and throttle back on. Now it's crucial that you preload and drop off the throttle because it's when you don't drop the throttle enough and just shove the gear and shove the bike into the next gear that you can do damage. And you also have, to also have to make sure that you're putting on the right amount of throttle. So since you're not disengaging the clutch, or disengaging the, turn, the wheel from the engine by pulling in the clutch, you're just popping it into the next gear, and therefore you have to make sure you let off the, the throttle so that it's not, it doesn't have any load on it. And this will make it so that you don't do, damage to the, do any damage to the gears, transmission, and you can do a fast clutchless shift. So I'm gonna just do a quick downshift really quick. And I'm gonna accelerate. Oh, let's get around this corner first. Also, the thing to remember, it's better to use clutchless shifting when you're doing faster acceleration. If you're not doing much acceleration, clutchless, first of all, it's just, not, just pointless to do clutchless shifting because you're not trying to shave second, shave split seconds off of your shifting time. If you're just casually shifting, it doesn't matter. But it'll make it easier for the shift to happen if you're uh, shifting quickly. Because you're going from a lot of load on the engine to no load when you drop off the throttle. So let's get around here. And I'm gonna clutch a shift. I'm preloading the shifter and I dropped off the throttle and shifted up. So let's do another one after this corner, assuming there's a straightaway. All right, so here, let's do a clutch of shift. Preload the shifter. And you hear the, you hear the throttle drop off. Let's see, right when I do that, I put more pressure up on the shifter and it allows it to shift into the next gear. And then as soon as you get that shifter up, um, as soon as you shift up, put that throttle back on. But again, 
You gotta make sure that you're coming off the throttle so that it can do a smooth shift. Clutch will shift. Clutch will shift. So you guys, it's not too hard, but you just gotta make sure that you practice so you can make sure that you're coming off the throttle, preloading the shifter, and getting back on with the, with the right amount of throttle. It's not too hard, but you just gotta get used to it. It feels a little weird the first times you do it. In no time, you'll be doing super fast clutch will shift in. Once you get get uh, good at these, you can do both equally as quick. Um, but downshifting is usually done a little slower because you want to ease off.